Four offered by Representative Stewart, Bill Times, three vote day. Hello, this is State Representative Robert Martwick, and today is February 8th, 2017, and I'm standing on the floor of the Illinois House of Representatives, and uh, if you look around behind me, you'll see that we have just recently adjourned, so we're no longer in session, and I'm giving my weekly update. I thought I would try it via Facebook Live after my first post a couple of weeks ago, or a couple of days ago. Uh, interesting thing is, I'm sure you can probably hear behind me, there is some activity going on. You probably hear some noise, somebody speaking. And if you listen quietly, or I'll be quiet and you can listen, um, there is a gentleman standing at the front by the speaker's podium, and he is reading bills into the record. So I'm going to be quiet and I'm going to let you listen to this for a second. Bill for House Bill 3117, offered by Representative Jessel. Bill for Nacastrian, Public Aid. House Bill 3118, offered by Representative Jessel. Bill for Nacastrian, Civil Law. So what you hear is he's reading a series of bills, and he really literally reads the bill number and the title. And what this is is that part of the process here, as you can imagine, we have rather complicated processes uh, in order to govern the way that the House structure works, is that every bill before it gets voted on must be read, read three times. So this actually is the first reading of the bill. It's rather ministerial. When the bill is filed, it's read a first time and then it's assigned to committee. And so, as this is a week where a lot of bills, tomorrow is the bill filing deadline, where a lot of bills have been filed, the clerk is standing at the podium reading the bills into the record, even though we're not here. Again, it's ministerial. By the time the bills are read a third time, you better believe we're here because that's when we're going to take a vote on it. So that's what's going on right now, and that's why you hear the noise behind me. Um, so the week just ended here. It's, it was sort of a, these early weeks are, are, are the House structure just getting put into place. So we now finally know who's on all of our committees and what our committee assignments are. Uh, as I posted on Facebook before, I am now, I've, I've been granted really a, a quite an honor of, uh, and a difficult task of chairing the Committee on Personnel and Pensions. Obviously pensions are an ongoing problem and how we solve them, how we get a hold of the financial beast that is the pension problem and in a way that is still respectful of the fact that people are used it to save for their retirement so that falls to me in my committee there's a lot of bills that are designed to address this and it's my job to sort of steward those bills and see if I can find the ones that are going to help and weed out the ones that will do more harm than good. Uh, we didn't meet this week. There were a number of bills assigned, but none of the sponsors, again, most of these bills are somewhat complicated in nature. None of the bill sponsors were actually ready to proceed to hearings. So hopefully next week we'll start having some hearings on some of these pension bills. And maybe if we're lucky, we'll do a Facebook Live from that while we're in a committee hearing and you can see what some of that's like. Um, other than that, there were a uh, filing of bills, of course, tomorrow's the deadline, so I have filed most of my bills, including my financial plan, which I'll be talking about very soon. I filed my bills for elected representative school boards for the Chicago Public Schools and for the city colleges, bringing elected accountability to the taxpayers and the citizens of the city of Chicago so that they have that over their schools like everyone else does. Um, and uh, I've, I've, I have a number of other bills that I filed as well. Uh, an interesting bill that was filed, I filed it, uh, but, but I handed it off to a colleague of mine who will be running it. We filed a bill that would rename the Tri-State Tollway after President Obama. Um, a, a friend and a supporter by the name of Patrick Steffes is the one who came up with the idea of of using the tri-state to signify because in 2008 Obama won the presidency largely based on the fact that he won the tri-state area of Illinois, Wisconsin, and Indiana, and that's what the tri-state connects. So we thought it would be a fitting tribute to name it after him. Um, the big news next week when we get back here, besides actually getting down to some real committee work, is that the governor will be giving his third budget address. And uh, the budget address is where he is supposed to come to the legislature. He'll appear before a joint session here and he will tell us his ideas for a balanced budget. Now my hope is that he actually does that because the first two years that he has been a governor he has not presented a balanced budget. He's presented budgets that were anywhere from four to eight billion dollars out of balance and he has effectively punted, right? He said I don't want to deal with this because it's a complicated problem and the only way I'll do it is if you give me the items of my turnaround agenda. Well, 
the financial burden that we have, I often hear people say, look, you can't blame the governor for our financial mess, to which I would say I disagree with that. Uh, because our financial condition, although he didn't create it, he has certainly over the course of the last two years worsened it. On the day one in office, of, of his first day in office, we as Democrats said, we will work with you to solve the budget through a combination of spending cuts and tax increases. But over the last course of the last two years, he's refused to do it unless there is his political items, his agenda items attached to it. Well, recently, Standard & Poor's two days ago downgraded our bond rating once again, and they specifically said that his inability, his, his unwillingness to strip away his political agenda and focus on the budget is why they were downgrading us once again. So they're starting to attribute these financial problems directly to his actions. So I'm hopeful. He's a businessman. I hope he gets this. I'm sure he understands uh, the importance of having a good credit rating as a businessman. And I'm hoping that he will finally put his agenda aside, work with us on a budget, and then we can talk about his political agenda items. Uh, but we'll see. That's next week. Uh, I look forward to being uh, here again next week, and, and I will give you a, another update. We'll talk more about what went on here in Springfield, and I'll be doing it every week, just as I have, until we get done with session and pass a budget. So until then, thank you for listening. Uh, you can respond here. Uh, you can find me at my local office, 5940 North Milwaukee in Chicago, or you can call me there at 773 286 one 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 five. You can find me on Twitter at, at Robert Martwick. But reach out, get in touch, stay involved. Your involvement is what makes me do a better job, and uh, that's what democracy is all about. So until next week, thanks for tuning in.